Hello friends. I'm making another short video of how to decoupage soaps. My soaps. Here's soaps that I've done. Here's the napkins I'll be using. Here's the Mod Podge. Okay, let's get started. I don't have a lot of time. It's real easy and simple. Just get your soap. Excuse the background noise. I'm doing this outside. Just wad your napkin up. I find that easier to separate your night up. Napkin, this is a two-ply. I bought these napkins at the Dollar Tree. A package of, I'm not sure how many was in it. Maybe 32. I'm not sure exactly. A lot. More than you'll need, believe me. Just for a dollar. At the Dollar Tree. Okay? I got the Mod Podge. I got it at Walmart. It's a 32 ounce, $12 I think it was. I got the brushes, a large pack for six something. Of course, you can just buy one if that's all you need. Very easy and simple. Here are some that I've already done. Here's this one. This is made, this soap is made of dandelion. I have a group site on Facebook called Mary's Inspirational Soaps. You can view my soaps there and purchase them through PayPal. Here's some other soaps. I'm not making this video to advertise my uh, soaps on the Facebook group, but since I am on here, why not? Okay? Okay, here's another one. I hope you can see that. These are pina colada soaps. Yes, these are on the group site. There's a list of soaps. Here's some that I just made on a previous video. I just thought I would go ahead and decoupage a few more first video I ran out of memory so I had to continue it and I didn't like that I wanted to do it all on one video you see that now that's just one layer it worked out really really good that's the back of my soap this is cider barrel I think no cedar barrel no excuse me it's cedar wood let's get that right okay anyway let's move on here's the soaps I'll be doing right here can you see those you see those soaps? All my soaps are cold processed. Most. There is a few that's not. I just got done making some silk soap. And it turned out absolutely great. Okay, what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to wipe this napkin up. Let's try to get it separated. I find that if you blow in between the layers, it comes part easier. There you go. And you just separate it like this. Pull it apart. Okay, there you go. Let's just fold this piece. There you go. And I find that if you would just tear your pattern out of your napkin, it looks better on your soaps than if you were to cut it out with scissors. It has a more natural look instead of looking like decoupage it actually looks like it's been painted on okay there you go i know that doesn't look too good so just kind of work with it there a little bit okay that's good now get your soap ready i'm kind of doing this really fast because i don't want to run out of memory again get your decoupage ready stir it up there a little bit and always always this is very very important start at the center of your napkin and work your way out there we go you see that like i said start from the center and work your way out just like that you see how i'm doing this and I am a beginner at this. Now, like I said, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Anybody can do it, if I can do it. There you go. Just pull it out from the center and have a light hand. And kind of brush that down on the sides just a little bit. That's it. That's it. That's all they are to it one time. We'll put that one right there and we'll look at it here in just a few minutes, okay? Let's get that brush down a little bit. There we go. 
Okay, let's do another one real quick. Get your napkin. Just tear around your pattern that you want to use from your napkin. Excuse the background noise, please. I am doing this outside. I have other videos of uh, me with my goats, and it's time for me to feed my goats. I have two goats, a pygmy goat and a Nigerian dwarf. You can go on there and view those if you'd like. Please subscribe to my channel. I just started these videos. I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> Okay, let me trim that one up just a little more. Okay, here we go. Start from the center. Do not forget that. And work your way around the soap. Or whatever it is that you're decoupaging. You do it in this technique. And do it with a light hand. It's just like when you write, you learn to write with a pencil, do it with a light hand. That's it. Okay, that's it. how simple that is. Look, this, this one is almost dry. Look how pretty that is. And the more it dries, the better it looks. It gets, it gets that glossy look. I have a lot of soaps in there that I need to get packaged up that are cured. Need to be packaged. I have a few soaps at the Marmot Flowers and More. Located in Marmot, West Virginia, of course. But. Uh, Here we go. Let's do another one. Like I said, excuse the background noise. Start from the center. Have a light hand and just continue to go around in a circle. Just keep going around. Just like that. I hope this video turns out good. If you can see it good. Brush down the side there a little bit. hand there you go now let's look at these two that are already dry there you go can you see that can you see the glossy look look at this one do you like that please if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel I just started making videos on YouTube I hope this helps someone else. And I hope you have fun with it. I know I have. I love learning new things. And I will be posting more videos if I find that people like my videos. I don't like wasting my time. I mean, who does? Life is short. It's too short. Let's enjoy life. Let's be good to each other. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, you can get your napkins. I got mine at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Alright, thank you YouTubers. Friends, until next time. God bless.